But I could go in the whole night. Still no job there. I'll stick. He's not happy with me. I learned to miss all computer game, but he's still blaming me for what's happened. So where is he? He's made his own way in. I've got enough on my plate without worrying about him. Have you? The film. I want to get it finished. I want to show it next week. Have you, uh, have you already got that from you? No. You'll just accuse me of stealing or going through his stuff. You need to have a point. Yeah, well, what am I supposed to do if he's not speaking to me? Well, maybe you should talk to him about the district trials. Should make conversation. Nah, is the last thing I want to talk to him about. I've told you I'm not going. I just want to play footy for fun. Yeah, I know that. It just <sighs> seems like a waste, but your call. <sighs> anyway, feeling sorry for yourself isn't going to get you nowhere. Well, what's the rush? Going to find out where he got that from. And how are we supposed to do that, Tom? Talk. Talk. Oh, hi. Nice lay in, was it? Sorry, I was This trying. is a disgrace. Well, the thing is... This is your responsibility, not mine. You and that other one, that, that what's-a-face. Dawn, well, the thing is, she's quit now, so it's just me, but it was a one-off. I promise it won't happen again. It better not, or I'll be on to Mrs. Passenger to pull the plug. No, you can't. Enjoy the show. It's a bit video nasty in here, isn't it? So you thought you'd start filming, but you didn't think of cleaning up first? <laughs> that is truth, Cathy. Besides, I've had bigger and better things to do. I've had my hands full. Maybe you should think about coming earlier in future. I'll take my advice and don't bother at all. It's a no-win venture. Oh, what's up? All oh, your mates left me now, you're a pop. Do one more. It's hold Alex and Ed. It's got nothing to do with you. I bet there's a nice cardboard box waiting in the recycling bin. You'll need it to sleep in when they kick you out of your house. I said leave it. Maybe you should walk on through the park, see if there's anyone feeding the ducks. You could pick up a few scraps. I tell you what, you give that to me, and I'll make sure nobody finds out. No, why should I? Because if you don't keep me sweet, then I'm going to make you famous around this school, starting with them. Oi! Think about it. Where did you hear that from? Your tag got it for me. He's always doing stuff like that. Anyway, have you managed to get a new car since you completely totaled your last one? Your next to use today. If you forfeit your race, you're out. Oh, I forgot. One of you will have to lend me one. What? So you can kick it around the yard like you did with the last one? No fear. That wasn't my fault. You're going to have to postpone the race. I can't. Everyone else has already registered. Liquid pips, then nobody can try and nick it. <laughs> you're right, Tig. I think he's asleep. What are you doing? <laughs> Nothing, you bumped into me. Oh, it's not funny, you've ruined it. No, it won't, it'll come out. Just get your mum to stick it in the wash. Oh, you could just pick one up next time you got a jumble sale. <laughs> what jumble sale? The one where you got that computer game, it's a bit last century, isn't it? It's all right for you two. All you have to do is go run into mummy and daddy and you can have whatever you want. What are you on about? You're always making out like you're better than me, will you not? You're just some fat loser who plays with toy cars all day. Hey. And what's worse, you're his best mate. Shove your race. What's got into him? I don't know. Ah! It's all right, Chewmacker. I'll fill in for him. But you're eating till next week. Change. Ah. Um. Taylor. Whatever it is, I didn't do. Now that I'm fully aware of. Do you have a study period this morning? Yeah, but I need to use a new playlist for the radio system. Really? It'll only take two minutes and no one else can really do it. Do you remember the conversation we had at the beginning of the school year? Yeah. About how I would only accept you back at Grange Hill on the understanding that you apply yourself and that your grades reflect this? Well, it'll take two minutes. Well, given that conversation, why am I now getting reports about absenteeism and that you're behind with your coursework? OK, but I'm on top of it now. Look, there's no shame in asking for help if you're finding the work difficult. I'm not. I don't see what the big problem is. It's practically finished. Good, because I want to see it. My desk by the end of the day. Don't make me regret inviting you back here, Taylor. You've still got a lot to prove. What's up, Mitchell? Can't hack it here with the big boys. You used to loan me a tenner for that stunt you pulled with Wayne Wright's bike. And? And I want it back. Or what? That's it. Ask me again, and I promise you won't like the answer. Haven't you been back all morning? Bells only just got. Exactly. He's only texted me like a million times by now. Why don't you just text him and ask? Come on, come across how desperate I need you. Don't think so. 
hate it so much. Why can't you just ring me? Maybe his battery said, or he's overslept, or he's got bored and run away. Why would he run away from me? Look, all I'm saying is there could be a million reasons why he hasn't touched him. Or maybe he hasn't just went listening. Yeah, I suppose. Oh, you've done that home for the face yet? Um, it's not like you used to do it the minute you get it. I don't think there's any point this time. Give us a shout when you do do it. Oh, you? What do you think you should do about Boss then? I don't know. Dump him. Why? We'll get in there before he dumps you. Well, why would you want to dump me, Emma? Emma? Maybe you should send Baz an email. What do you think? OK. Great. What should I say to him, though? Uh, how about, hi, Baz? Oh, yeah, that's a great help. How are things at home? As far as Mum and Robin are concerned, fine, because we're moving to Indonesia. Well, have you tried asking your dad to talk to your mum again? They're not speaking. Robin's told her to completely cut him out of her life if she wants to move on. So? Whose life are we talking about? I've just said they're not speaking. Even if they were, it just make things ten times worse. Sorry, he was only saying. Do you know what? I keep thinking, what would it be like if I just disappeared? I mean, would anyone even notice? Sometimes I think it'd be better for people around here if I did. Buzz just sent me an email. Says he really misses me. How cute is that? OK, he's gone. So? Where'd you go now if you want to find stuff out? Of course. I'll just look on my dad's secret website. Cheers, talk. Just type in his name and then press search. Mouth. Are they all for your dad? Oh, yeah. Unless he's leading a secret double life as an L.A. hairdresser to the stars and the pets. Did they get medals for that? Oh, look. Mitchell working. You got an apple for teacher? I want my money. Just do one. I want my money now. Let's see how hard you are. Come on. Let's have it. Is that the best you can do? No, just ah. a star. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Kiss my boot. Reese it, boy. You only had when you got your girlfriends to hide behind. What's going on? Just leave it, Karen. Nothing for you to worry your pretty little face about, sweetheart. <laughs> I'm not your sweetheart. Yeah, you say that now. Let's see if you still think that once he's gone. Gone where? What was he not told you? That's since you're kicking him out. She never said that. What was it? Don't make me regret having you back. Sounds like she already does. You got lucky this time. It won't happen again. What is he talking about? Nothing. Hey. How come you didn't just go steaming in there? There was five of them on him then. Yeah, but does the car justify the aggro? How do you mean? Well, you asked me, a good kicking one hurt him in the long run. At least then he might act like one of us. So not want to stand out all the time. This is hopeless. What? You can find anything on here if you look hard enough. And what's alternative? Give up. One of us has got to make the effort. Hang on. That's my grand's local paper. Local athlete accuses coach of racism. That's my dad. Well, let's have a look then. There he is. That's him. That's my dad. Oh, I was really worried after I blown Baz out for you. I'm really sorry. It's not all your fault. I just needed to prioritise things better. It's so difficult. But can I tell you something? I mean, what about me? When do I ever get a say in anything? I was feeling really guilty about you, and then Baz was going to dump me. It's just not right, is it? Something's got to give, I'm telling you. I thought Tigger would have been over to say sorry by now. Yeah, I know. Calling us sad. Look at him, Billy No Mates. Right, drive us to the start. What? Where's Mr. McDonald? Oh, he's got vital markings to do that can't wait, apparently. I don't think Roy's gonna show you now. Hey, I have got other things to do. Unless either of you two fancy unblocking the Veruca footpath by the pool? Didn't think so. Car's on the grid. I'm gonna start without me, where you fat boy? Um, I'm not really bothered, do I race? As long as it's fair and square. <laughs> me neither, as long as I win. Losing air uh, makes me very angry. You understand? Hey, places now! The run the starter's orders. Three, two, one, get off. He says that my dad keep up running because of racism. He says he was really good, had a shot to go in the Olympics. Yeah, but then it also says that the charges against his coach were dismissed. So what does that mean? Was he lying? Did he just make it all up? I don't know. Maybe he just weren't good enough. Well, maybe he was, but then why were they stopping racing just because the one raised his guy? The stopwatch don't lie. Well, ask him. See what really happened. At least now you found a way in, he'll have to talk to you. Maybe you're right. Yeah. I'll go now while you've got the nerve. 
What, like, right now? Listen, your dad's more important than this place. If I was you, just go. I'll cover for you. You know what you said before about Taylor not acting like the rest of us? Yeah. Yeah, well, what did you mean by that? Well, say it's, you're in trouble and only Taylor could help you. Do you think he would? I don't know. It's a hypothetical question. Well, that's just it. It's not. You know deep down that people you can trust in a rock. I trust you, you trust me. People like Taylor just start for what they can get. And tell me I'm wrong. What? Exactly. What did you think I meant? I don't know that, I guess. <laughs> anyway, how far have you got a little Miss Push up then? We rode into town on the bus the other day. Is that far enough for you? There's no point me asking. She's still PG rated, mate. <laughs> nice try. Hey, where have you been? I've been looking for you everywhere. Thought you said some Mr. Gay. What is that bag? Looks like it's got half your wardrobe in it. Pretty much. What's going on? It's a game with a rucksack. Emma, miserable sidekick. Throw a stick, so you should fetch it. <laughs> Emma. Hey. Hi. That's your makeup bag. It's not nearly big enough. <laughs> Listen, do you uh, want to get some food from the canteen? I've already been. Oh, all right. Well, do you want to do something after school? I can't. I've got to go. I'm sorry. Emma! Wait! Dad? Abel? Why aren't you in school? It turns out to stop us some sport and hero back in the day. Imagine only finding that out now. Listen, you're gonna have to talk to me at some point. Says who? Says me, it's not my fault. Mum and Dad told me not to say anything to you. Why? I'm not a baby. I guess he was just trying to protect you. And how just that way? Was me dad supposed to sleep in the shed when he was supposed to be away overnight? I'll add the note it, do I? D my name's Tim. Good job you blew the big secret then. Have you told any of me, Chet? What's it to you? You can tell Alex and the other one. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. I'm not embarrassed. So why are you sitting here on your own with a government? What's with the camera? I'm making a film about the bogs around Right, the I only asked. Yeah, well, it's a nightmare, isn't it, when no one wants to listen to what you've got to say? They just treat you like a joke. It makes you think it's that all I'm good for mucking about. So you do. What are you on about? I'm saying I've been there, I know what it's like. Look, I'm not stupid or just some big joke. What if... What if they get divorced? Listen, we've been through this, not going to get divorced. How do you know? I've heard them fight before, but not like this. What would happen then? Where would you go? Who would you live with? Yeah, that's, that's not gonna happen. And what if my dad doesn't get another job? Yeah, well, he will. What if he doesn't? I'm already getting laughed at because I bust my car up and I only had one. What's it gonna be like when this gets out? What about when it's my birthday and everyone's saying, oh, what did you get? Have you heard yourself? What if things are a bit tight for a bit? Everyone will know that's what. Why can't I just be like everyone else? Why is it always me? Tigger! Get in! Second place. Not bad for a tub of lad. Right, the bell's about to go, so I want those bags moved right now. They're not all mine. Do I look like I care? What's up with him? I don't know, I'm not really listening. You could have had me then. I'm still through. But you had the racing line going into the last bend. Listen, if I had a one, he'd be bouncing my head around the yard. So, what if the same thing happens in the final? You're still just going to let him win then? Oh, no. You should be at school. Dad? What, Dad? Nothing. I've got work to do. He says here that you weren't picked for the Olympics because you were black. Is that true? The coach at club said I wasn't good enough. I disagreed. Why? Because my time stood up against anyone else's. What happened? He carried on coaching, and I gave up running. But you just gave up just because of some bully, without even a fight? It wasn't so simple. Anyway, who said you could go through my things, eh? We brought you up better than that table. Did anyone back you up? It was my word against his. You know what Togger thinks? This is why you pushed me so hard at the academy. Boy, that boy's got a wild imagination. It's what I think too. What? You can't even compare the two. Yeah, why not? Because I was never given a chance. You were, and you quit. Now, that's the difference between me and you, Abel. Right there. Hey! Hey! Off that! Hi, Mark. 
Thanks. Why'd you run off like that? Oh, sorry. Listen, Tanya, we need to talk. What about? About us. It seems at the minute, every time I try and see you, you're with Emma. So you're going to finish me then? No. <laughs> what makes you say that? No reason. Listen, I know she's your mate and everything, but there's no crime in wanting to see you when you're honest. It's just difficult. The Muslim was giving a really hard time at home. No, we're the ones who were going out, Tanya. Shouldn't have to make an appointment to see my own girlfriend. Yeah. All right, well, meet me out here after school. Okay. <laughs> Afternoon registration. The bell has gone. See you later. <laughs> Keepers. Yeah, but you nicked it out of me bag. From now on, I want you to bring me something every day. Because if you don't, the whole school's going to know why, doll boy. All right, mate. What are you lending me that for? Actually, he's giving it to me. Isn't that right, Timothy? Oh, whatever. Come on, now. We don't want to break up the little party. I didn't give it to her. She stole it off me. What? Think very carefully. My dad's lost his job. She had me and Togger arguing the other day and now she's blackmailing me. She said she's going to tell the whole school that I'm some poor pov if I don't give her stuff. Just because your dad lost his job? How pathetic are you? Like I'm going to be the one who's wearing charity rejects. Is that why I went off on us this morning? Because of your blazer in the car? So what if your dad's out of work? It happens to loads of people. My dad went out of work for a few months a couple of years back and I didn't even notice a difference. Apart from those five burger places in town having to close down. Is that the best you can do? Oh, what is wrong with people in this place? Thanks, mate. Look, lads, I'm sorry about this morning. Just forget about it. You sure? Yeah, of course I am. Open your books, page 12. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Get away, aren't you? They send love the same way in there. Are you mad? Where are you going to go? Does it matter? Nobody ever listens to me, and why should they? Well, it matters to me. Oh, does it? So you didn't just tell me I was getting in the way of you and Buzz before? Oh, I didn't mean it like that. Hey! Oh, will you two cops keep it down? Where's Abel? He's, uh, he's chipped as two, sir. He was playing footy in the playground and he went to the nurse and she sent him home straight away to get it fixed. You can ring his mum if you want, but... Put your phone away. Nice one, Tally. Right? Play it and lie, by the way. Yeah. That's what mates do. Look out for each other. Don't just think about number one. You'll be in trouble for missing your lessons. Tucker said he'd cover for me. You mean lie? And this is the same friend who plants stupid ideas in your head. Dad, do you really think I quit the academy because I couldn't hack it? Abel, you are ten times the athlete I ever was. But you never apply yourself. I was getting up at half five every morning. There was training before and after school. I wasn't hanging around with my mates. I was even falling asleep in lesson. You have to make sacrifice to succeed. Nothing worth having comes easy. Well, that's just it. I don't want it. Then why did you agree to join the academy in the first place? For you. What? I went to be a footballer at first, but when I told you there was a chance I might make it, then that felt like the first time you'd ever paid me attention in years. Now that is not true. But every day was the same. Make sure you work hard. Listen, make sure you eat the right things. I was trying to give you the best chance to succeed. Why, by putting more pressure on me? A true athlete responds to pressure. Well, when you quit running, was there no one to support you? There was nothing anyone could say. It was a different world back then. What do you mean? Racism. You expected people to shout things at you in the streets. I could never have taken you to the football back then. People making monkey noises. Goading you. Then they call you savage when you dare to stand up for yourself. My chance was taken away from me and there was nothing I could do about it. But you... What exactly was standing in your way, son? Well, if you told me all this then, maybe it would have made a difference. I might have thought, well, this isn't so bad. My own dad went through worse. <laughs> then what do you want me to say, eh? Huh? That I'm proud of what you did. I want you to say that... I want you to say that... If I wanted to quit, then that's okay. And that you are still proud of me and that you're sorry. And no matter what happened to you, then it's no reason to take it out on me. Don't blame you. Can't wait to get out of here myself some days. No, Emma! Wait! 
Why? Where are you going to go? What are you going to do for money or food? I've got food. Yeah, but how long is that going to last? You're not thinking it through. There's nothing else I can think of. Tell me what am I missing? What else can I do? Go on, Tanya. There's nothing I can do. The tickets are booked. Mum's speaking to passenger and that's it. I'm leaving. It is. Where would you sleep? You wouldn't know who to trust. I'll get by. Oh, you're 15. You know what happens to kids who run away? Where else can I go? My dad doesn't want me. My mum, I thought she'd find someone new and then she'd relax. But she's with Robin and she can't even see me anymore. I'm just disappearing. Why don't you come home with me? I forgot about Baz. I thought I was getting in the way. Well, he'll understand and if he doesn't, then I'll make him. What's the point? One hurt of yours isn't going to do anything. Well, why don't you stay for a few nights? Then your mum might stop and think why and think about what you want. If you run away, then she's won. It's not going to change anything. I've tried to speak to her, but you don't know what she's like. She doesn't even want to listen to me. Well, I do. Yeah, well, you won't have to put up with that for much longer. I'm the only one that goes and does mad things, like meet French boys who don't exist or sabotage PA. You're the sensible one. The boring one that no one listens to you mean. No, that's not what I meant. If you go, who's going to look out for me? I need you. Mm, though it kills me to say it. Talk was right. Makes look out for each other. OK. Great. You looking for Baz? Yep. Guess I'll have to see him tomorrow. Don't start. Need to let her know her priorities lie, mate. Yeah, <laughs> Good job we got air before the rush. Can't you find someone else to infect? Hello, my film is about food, and I take it this is still a cafe, although I'm that's why you might as well call it the mark. Did you trust my work? Careful. I asked you a question. Excuse me, can you keep the noise down a bit, please? Oh, looks like Kathy's finally put on some entertainment. What's going on? This meathead that you're calling me and the media boy. This meathead trashed my work. Yeah? Any witnesses? I won't ask you again. All right, Granny, keep your penny on. <laughs> Face it, you don't belong here. The bugs round here work better than you. You're nothing. I wipe more intelligent things than you off my shoe every day. I'm sure you really are an idiot. Yeah? Who's I'm behind the girl for now, eh? Wow. <laughs> What's his way into it? He can walk his way back out. Hey! Oh, this is excellent. Just turn that stupid camera on. Fine, he's getting bored anyway. Me Tarzan, Lord of the Jungle. Jungle. This John White guy. Let's have the little natives. Must have heard of him. Well, what about you?